Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cairns and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and of course those cross-watching as well, welcome to your tarot messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is written in your destiny. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the things or the people, the circumstances that are interwoven into, part of your, um, into a part of your destiny. Okay, things that are fated for you. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle, and we'll begin. Okay, you've got a few major arcana cards here, guys. Um, okay, we'll go ahead and see what's written in your destiny, what's to come. Now, the Temperance card is a card that's all about balance, um, equilibrium, a sense of calm, peace, moderation here. Um, the card is also a symbolism of flow and alchemy here, okay? Um, The need to stay grounded, guys. The need to stay grounded whilst... Notice how the one foot is in the water, the other foot is on the ground. Okay, but there's a need to stay... Even if you might have your head in the clouds here, or one foot in the water, so to speak, there's still a need for you to stay grounded about things here. Now the golden light that sort of uh, wraps around the angel's head, almost like a halo, right? This glowing light to me is a symbol of taking the higher path, you guys. Okay, so even though you may have detours or you may take the wrong turns in life, um, make sure you always realign, check in with yourself and realign with yourself in order to end up, you know, taking the higher path, taking a path that is in alignment here with your soul's purpose here with your inner being okay so staying true staying true to yourself to your life's purpose and your life's path here and I feel like you guys given the fact that you're very intuitive spiritual beings here I feel like deep down inside if you ever end up on the wrong path or on the wrong side of the road I feel like you intuitively there is something here um, that you just, like, it's your intuitive nudges, your intuitive emotions, your feelings. They sort of reach out and communicate this to you. Okay. It's also a card, I mean, alongside the full, it's also a card of just lowering your resistance. So for a lot of you, I feel like if you end up taking, if you end up taking the path of least resistance, and if you keep walking down that path, you'll eventually end up on the path to no resistance here, and you'll end up, you know, and you'll you'll get your life back into order and into balance here. This card is also, I feel like both cards are all about remaining calm here, okay? Even if life can get stressful or frantic, it's remaining calm and it's staying true to who you are and to your, you know, your higher self, your higher purpose here. And by respecting that balance, that tranquility, by respecting the process here and trusting in the process and not rushing it, guys, because sometimes you may find yourself wanting to manipulate a certain outcome in a situation. Trust the process. Do not rush it here, especially with the five of, uh, the five of swords here, okay? Um, you, got, you do have a seemingly abundant source of patience here. And when that's put to use, I feel like it will definitely help you guys achieve any experiences or any fulfillments that you want in your life here. Okay? But it definitely, to me, it feels like it's important in life to take the middle path for you. 
I also mentioned I feel like there's sort of like an alchemy here um, with the temperance card this card is about like blending mixing combining like different diverse elements here you have make sure you stay true to your long-term vision because you do have a long-term vision here you guys are very creative you guys are very spiritual you're very intuitive you do have a long-term vision like a to me it feels like it's it's like a dream it's a dream that you've harbored or it's a wish here make sure you stay true to that even if you feel like it's impossible or even if you feel like it's unattainable or it's not possible for you here because as I've mentioned, there's a sense of alchemy here about the universe that we live in. And when we want something or someone, okay, as much as you do with this long-term goal or aspiration that I'm seeing for you here, it's almost like the, the universe moves all forces or all unwanted blockages or obstacles in our ways to accommodate that desire. The Nine of Swords here is a sign that is accommodated with the mind, right? With the mind, with logic, with our voice, okay? So it's very important that you watch the tone, you watch the tone in which you speak to yourself, you know that inner voice here, okay? Because the Nine of Swords is caught on the destructive end of the mind. Some of you, I feel like, you will, if you do not follow your life's purpose and your true path here, you will be haunted by what could have been, by the illusions, the fantasies and the dreams of what could have been for you. You will be haunted by that, okay? And some of you, I feel like at times, you may get in your own way here by thinking that you're not good enough for that dream goal or that inspiration or that ideal relationship. You get in your own way here. And notice how there's a sense of repetition with this card here. So the more you repress it, the more you tell yourself these you know, self-limiting thoughts or these self-limiting beliefs, the more you begin to believe it here. And the more that it will provide, like this negative destructive energy will provide an outlet for you. So it will, you know, you'll project it outwards here, guys. So definitely watch the inner voice, watch the, you know, watch your voice and the way that, not only the way that you speak to others, but also the way that you speak to yourself here. You've also got an abundance of emotions. You are ruled by the emotion realm, the suit of cups. So you do have your source of abundant emotion, guys. And if you do not find an outlet to express those emotions here, um, again, they could really backfire, okay? It can become really self-destructive. So... That creative you, that emotional you should be expressed, not repressed, okay? And some of you, I can see that within your destiny, your because some of you have pain, and for a long, long time, pain has been a true source for inspiration, for poetry, films, um, you know, actors, um, written works, photography. So a lot of you, even though you have that pain, you can use it as a creative outlet to express that because for some of you watching this that okay you are destined to help others you are destined to express your pain express your hurt express your story with others and help them on their path here so the page of cups is definitely about expressing and not repressing your emotional and your creative side here and the sun of course is a card of good fortune joy happiness um, vitality, enlightenment, growth, okay, so I feel like a lot of you, this to me represents all of the things that are coming together here, you know, that alchemy, and it's all the universe is sort of blending, mixing, and, you know, it's having all of this come together, and for this to sort of enter your life and aid you on your path here to something greater, and to me, it truly feels like because of your inner being, because of all the things that you've been through, the type of person that you are, the type of people that, um, you know, the, your connecting energies, um, whom they know you to be, because of your energy, your own personal fulfillment, to me, it feels like your destiny is definitely one that is going to provide true inspiration. It's going to be a true source for inspiration. 
and also joy to others around you and you will touch lives you will go on to touch people's lives people's lives whom like people whom you've not even met before purely because i feel like a lot of you there is something here that you're being called or you're being guided to do that is definitely going to help inspire and resonate with that with a lot of people so make sure you put yourself onto the path of least resistance and make sure that where you know whatever it is that you end up doing whomever it is that you end up with and whatever path you end up walking down on okay make sure that it's a path that is in alignment with your higher purpose with your higher soul here and even if you find yourself walking down you know at a crossroads or walking down the wrong path or even starting off on the wrong turn just remember that you can always redirect your career path and also remember guys sometimes life's greatest journeys life's greatest adventures begin with the wrong turn so be mindful of that okay guys and these are your messages thanks for watching please feel free um please feel free to show your support by subscribing liking commenting sharing for those of you interested in a personal reading feel free to connect otherwise bye for now